One of the most important weeks in the NFL calendar is here. It's roster cut time around the league, cutting from 90 to 53 by Saturday at 4 o'clock. And what we will go over today is five position, either starting jobs or just position battles in general that Frank Reich mentioned earlier in the week as kind of big decisions and stuff that's still up in the air for the Colts. So let's start with the starting job that is still open, probably the last one on this roster. That is the right tackle job. It will be Joe Haig starting Thursday in Cincinnati. And the, the decision to start Haig, I think, says two things. One, it says Anthony Casanzo is healthy and will be good to go for week one. Two, it gives you the best five linemen on the field. So we've seen four different right tackles start in the preseason. Haig has kind of been that emergency guy, a backup center, a backup left tackle as well. Now he will go to right tackle. I think he's got to be the favorite to start there week one. He has started 20 games at right tackle the last two years. Number two, just overall offensive line depth. This is more of a kind of a 53-man roster look at things. With Haig starting, you do lose one of your kind of versatile backups. So the Colts are going to have some big decisions to make. Do you part ways with Austin Howard, who has been terrible all preseason, but you did pay him you know, pretty big money in the offseason? Uh, Deshaun Bond, the Warren Central product as well. Do you need a, an interior backup? Um, because now you have Haig, who could be your emergency center in the starting lineup. And then what you do at right guard? Braden Smith and Matt Slauson seem to be the two guys there. Is Smith kind of a versatile backup, the rookie out of Auburn? So some questions there on the offensive line. Third, wide receiver number four and five. We know the top three, T.Y. Hilton, Ryan Grant, Chester Rogers, but ever since the Deion Kane injury in the preseason opener, no idea who the number four and five wideout is. And honestly, there's a good chance the number five wideout is on another roster, and that's going to come via waiver claims. Uh, right now on my 53-man roster, I have Reese Fountain making the team. Uh, he was a fifth-round pick out of Northern Iowa this past April, and this is a guy that I think ha gives you a little bit higher ceiling. You knew you needed to develop him. I know he's been a little banged up and has not flashed really at all in the month of August, but I think you work with Fountain a little bit. And then Zach Paschal is the other wideout that I have, number 14, who can help you out on special teams, which special teams is going to be a big component of who that fifth wideout is. Number four, talented tight end group. Clearly, in my opinion, the deepest position group on the team. I think the Colts would agree with that as well. I actually changed my 53-man roster earlier this week. I now have Daryl Daniels making the team. He had a strong game Saturday night against the 49ers. Why? I think Daniels gives you that blocking element and it just gives you more versatility and, and just a multitude of skill sets within that tight end group. So I have Daniels making the team. Unfortunately, I have Ross Travis missing the team, a guy that I really like throughout the offseason. But you're going to cut a pretty talented player at that tight end group. And then lastly, the injuries in the secondary. This is something that will go into roster cuts. You have about a handful of guys right now that could miss week one who you would want on your 53-man roster. So you only have seven inactive spots. So that's something the Colts will be jug uh, juggling all weekend long, roster cuts and waiver claims as well. The secondary injuries right now, you know the starters, Kenny Moore, Pierre Desir at corner, Malik Hooker, Clayton Gathers at safety, but they're backups. Nate Hairston and Quincy Wilson at corner, both were banged up late in the preseason. And then at safety, TJ Green has a hamstring injury. He's listed a week to week. And Ronald Martin, another guy that could have made the 53 man roster, he has a shoulder injury and is listed a week to week. So those will be a couple things to keep in mind as the Colts trim this roster down to 53. Stay tuned to 1070thefan.com. We will have you covered there. I will be posting my final 53 man roster prediction. Uh, either late Thursday night or early Friday morning after the preseason finale in Cincinnati. And like I said, 4 o'clock on Saturday, roster cuts are due. So I'm Kevin Bowen. Stay tuned to 1070thefan.com for the latest.